Governor Reynolds signed another bill into law today that repeals the state's gender balance requirements for Iowa's boards and commissions. Amanda Rooker was at the state house as Reynolds signed the bill, and this was one of her top priorities this session, Amanda. That's right. So this is another large legislative victory for her seeing signing that bill into law. Iowa's boards and commissions are now no longer required to have an equal number of men and women serving on them. Critics have said ending that requirement will lead to less representation for women on state boards and commissions. But the governor says the new law makes sure that boards and commissions recruit the best qualified candidates instead of focusing on meeting a quota. Our focus should always be on appointing the most qualified people, and that includes engaged citizens with a genuine interest in serving their state or local government, as well as individuals with valuable experience that directly re uh, relates to that position. The fact that uh, the governor signed a bill eliminating the gender balance requirement on our boards and commissions will mean that f fewer women will have a voice in state government and in the way our government works. Why can't we work a little harder to bring balance to these boards and commissions? And why is this a priority of the governor? The governor also proposed a bill this session that would eliminate or consolidate more than 100 boards and commissions that she says are redundant or unnecessary. And she says that bill would increase efficiency to better meet the needs of Iowans. But that bill hasn't passed yet. It's still alive in the Senate, but it would need to be taken up and approved in both the House and the Senate this session in order to become law this year. Jody. Amanda, thank you.